Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have learned how to find median from frequency table with class intervals. There was a homework. Let us do it now. The table below shows the employees in an office sorted according to the age. Find the median age. First of all, let us prepare a cumulative frequency table. The headings are age and number of workers. Below 30, there are 4 workers. Below 35, there are 4 plus 7 or 11 workers. Below 40, there are 11 plus 8 or 19 workers. Below 45, there are 19 plus 10 or 29 workers. Below 50, there are 29 plus 9 or 38 workers. Below 55, there are 38 plus 8 or 46 workers. Total number of workers is 46. It's an even number. Therefore, there are two workers at the middle. The 23rd worker and the 24th worker are at the middle. We have to find their ages. Below 40, there are 19 workers. And below 45, there are 29 workers. That means, the workers starting from 20 to 29 have the ages below 45. Therefore, the 23rd worker and 24th worker have also their ages below 45. But their ages are not below 40 because only the first 19 workers have their ages below 40. That means the ages of the 23rd worker and 24th worker are in between 40 and 45. Therefore, we can consider the median class as 40 to 45. Now, what is the frequency of the median class? It is 10. What is the width of the median class? It is 45 minus 40 or 5. Now, let us find the common difference. Common difference is 5 divided by 10. That is, width of the median class divided by frequency of the median class. 1, 5 is 5, 2, 5 is 10. So, this can be written as 1 by 2. Now, let us observe which is the first term in the median class. Below 40, there are 19 workers. So, 20th worker or the 20th term is the first term in the median class. So, let us find the 20th term at first. We have seen that median class is 40 to 45 and common difference is half. 20th term is 40 plus d by 2. d is 1 by 2. Therefore, d by 2 is 1 by 4. That means, 20th term is 40 plus 1 by 4 or 41 by 4. Now, we have to find the two middle terms. That is the 23rd term and 24th term. Let us take the 23rd term at first. 23rd term is 20th term plus 3 times common difference. 20th term is 41 by 4 and common difference is 1 by 2. So, this can be written as 41 by 4 into 3 into 1 by 2. 3 into 1 by 2 is 3 by 2 or 1 and half. So, this can be written as 41 by 4 plus 1 and half. 40 plus 1 is 41. 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 4. So, this can be written as 41 3 by 4. Now, let us find the 24th term. 24th term is 23rd term plus common difference. 23rd term is 41 3 by 4 and common difference is 1 by 2. So, this can be written as 41 3 by 4 plus 1 by 2. 3 by 4 plus 1 by 2 is 1 1 by 4. 41 plus 1 1 by 4 is 42 and 1 by 4. So, we have got the two middle terms. Median is half the sum of the middle terms. That means, median is equal to 23rd term plus 24th term divided by 2. 23rd term is 41 3 by 4. 24th term is 42 1 by 4. So, this can be written as 41 3 by 4 plus 42 1 by 4 divided by 2. 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is 1. 1 plus 41 is 42. 42 plus 42 divided by 2 is 42 again. That means median is 42. 
Now let us take another problem. The table below shows children of a class sorted according to the marks in an exam. Find the median mark. Let us prepare a cumulative frequency table at best. The headings are marks and number of children. Below 10 there are 4 children. Below 20 there are 4 plus 7 or 11 children. Below 30 there are 11 plus 9 or 20 children. Below 40 there are 20 plus 12 or 32 children. Below 50 there are 32 plus 8 or 40 children. Here, if we arrange the children from the one with least mark to the one with greatest, then the number of children with marks below 30 is 20, which is exactly half the total number of 40 children. In this case, we take 30 itself as the median, because half the total number of children have marks below 30 and half of them have marks 30 or more. Now let us do the problems on page numbers 254 and 255. First problem. The table below shows some households sorted according to the usage of electricity. Calculate the median usage of electricity. First of all, let us prepare a cumulative frequency table. The headings are electricity usage and number of households. Below 90, there are 3 households. Below 100, there are 3 plus 6 or 9 households. Below 110, there are 9 plus 7 or 16 households. Below 120, there are 16 plus 10 or 26 households. Below 130, there are 26 plus 9 or 35 households. Below 140, there are 35 plus 4 or 39 households. The total number of households is 39. It is an odd number. Therefore, there is only one term at the middle. And the 20th term is at the middle. We can see below 110 there are 16 households. And below 120 there are 26 households. That means the 20th household has the electricity usage in between 110 and 120. Or the median class is 110 to 120. Now, what is the frequency of the median class? It is 10. And what is the width of the median class? It is 120 minus 110 or 10. We know common difference is width of the median class divided by frequency of the median class. Therefore, common difference is 10 by 10 or 1. Now, let us observe which is the first term in the median class. Below 110, there are 16 terms. Therefore, 17th term is the first term in the median class. So, let us find the 17th term at first. 17th term is 110 plus d by 2. That is 110 plus 1 by 2. Or that is equal to 110 and 1 by 2. Now, we know 20th term is the middle term. Therefore, it is the median. So let us find the 20th term now. 20th term is 17th term plus 3 times common difference. And 17th term is 110 and 1 by 2. And common difference is 1. So this can be written as 110 1 by 2 plus 3 into 1. Or 110 1 by 2 plus 3. And that is equal to 113 and half. That means median is 113 and half. Second problem. The table below shows the children in a class sorted according to the marks in a math exam. Calculate the median mark of the class. First of all, let us prepare a cumulative frequency table. The headings are marks and number of children. Below 10, there are 4 children. Below 20, there are 4 plus 8 or 12 children. Below 30, there are 12 plus 10 or 22 children. Below 40, there are 22 plus 9 or 31 children. Below 50, there are 31 plus 5 or 36 children. The total number of children is an even number. Therefore, there are two children at the middle. The 18th and 19th children are at the middle. We can see below 20, there are 12 children. And below 30, there are 22 children. That means 
the 18th and 19th children have the marks in between 20 and 30. Therefore, the median class is 20 to 30. Now, what is the frequency of the median class? That is 10. Now, let us find the common difference. Common difference is width of the median class divided by frequency of the median class. That is 10 by 10 or 1. Now, let us observe which is the first term in the median class. Below 20, there are 12 children. Therefore, 13th term is the first term in the median class. We have seen that median class is 20 to 30 and common difference is 1. Let us find the 13th term. 13th term is 20 plus d by 2. d is 1. So, this can be written as 20 plus 1 by 2 or 20 and half. Now, let us find the two middle terms. The 18th term and 19th term are at the middle. Let us find the 18th term at first. 18th term is 13th term plus 5 times common difference. 13th term is 20 and half and common difference is 1. So, 18th term is 20 and half plus 5 into 1 or 20 and half plus 5. And that is equal to 25 and half. Now let us find the 19th term. 19th term is 18th term plus common difference. 18th term is 25 and half and common difference is 1. So 19th term is 25 and half plus 1 and that is equal to 26 and half. Now we got the two middle terms. Median is half the sum of the two middle terms. That is median is equal to 18th term plus 19th term divided by 2. 18th term is 25 and half. 19th term is 26 and half. So, median is 25 and half plus 26 and half divided by 2. Half plus half is 1. 25 plus 1 is 26. 26 plus 26 divided by 2 is 26 again. That means the median is 26. Now, the third problem. The table below gives the details of the income tax paid by the employees in an office in a year. Calculate the median income tax paid. Let us prepare a cumulative frequency table. The headings are income tax and number of employees. Below 2000, there are 8 employees. Below 3000, there are 8 plus 10 or 18 employees. Below 4,000, there are 18 plus 15 or 33 employees. Below 5,000, there are 33 plus 20 or 53 employees. Below 6,000, there are 53 plus 22 or 75 employees. Below 7,000, there are 75 plus 8 or 83 employees. Below 8,000, there are 83 plus 6 or 89 employees. Below 9,000, there are 89 plus 3 or 92 employees. The total number of employees is an even number. So, there are two employees at the middle. The 46th and 47th employees are at the middle. We can see below 4,000, there are 33 employees and below 5,000, there are 53 employees. Therefore, the 46th and 47th employees have the income tax in between 4,000 and 5,000. That means the median class is 4,000 to 5,000. Now, what is the frequency of the median class? That is 20. Let us find the common difference now. Common difference is width of the median class divided by frequency of the median class. Width of the median class is 5,000 minus 4,000 or 1,000. And frequency of the median class is 20. That means common difference is 1000 divided by 20 or 50. Now let us observe which is the first term in the median class. Below 4000 there are 33 employees. Therefore, the 34th term is the first term in the median class. Let us find the 34th term now. We have seen that the median class is 4000 to 5000 and common difference is 50. 34th term is 4000 plus d by 2 or 4000 plus 25 and that is equal to 4025. 46th term and 47th term are at the middle. Let us find them. 46th term is 34th term plus 12 times common difference. 
34th term is 4025 and common difference is 50. So 46th term is 4025 plus 12 into 50. 12 into 50 is 600. So this can be written as 4025 plus 600 and that is equal to 4625. Now let us find the 47th term that is 46th term plus common difference. 46th term is 4625 and common difference is 50. 4625 plus 50 and that is equal to 4675. Median is half the sum of the two middle terms. That is median is equal to 46th term plus 47th term divided by 2. 46th term is 4625. 47th term is 4675. Therefore median is 4625 plus 4675 divided by 2. 4625 plus 4675 is 9300. So this can be written as 9300 by 2 and that is equal to 4650. We can do it in another way also. Imagine that we take 25 from here and give it here. So this becomes 4650 and this also becomes 4650. 4650 plus 4650 divided by 2 is again 4650. Anyway, median is 4650 rupees. The chapter is complete here. Thank you for your support and motivation. We shall make more videos related to exam and other chapters. Till then, bye.